Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm just going to show you my knives um, and how often I use these various ones. And there's one here which you can probably already figure out that I don't really use at all. Anyway, let's take a look. So, um, I always take one of these more knives, maybe not specifically this one, because my other one is in my vehicle right now. Um, <clears throat> I usually go for the three and a half, three and three quarter blade one. It's about the right size just for uh, small um, chores if I'm camping or hiking. Um, you know, these things are invaluable to me because they're just, they stay sharp. I hardly have to do any, um, maintenance on them. And, uh, they're easy to sharpen if I need to. And I go for the, uh, I go for the carbon steel blades. Um, I'm not. The biggest fan of stainless, although the stainless ones are not bad. That's just my preference. All right, then right next to that, I don't remember if this is a M6 bayonet or I don't remember which one this is. Um, I mean, I've had this one. Oh, it's an M8. Sorry, M81. But. Uh, <clears throat> This is the one that I don't really use. I haven't used this thing for about 25 years. And I would actually sell it, but there's just no, there's no value for it on the market. There's so many out there that I might as well just keep it and see if my uh, son wants it or something like that. Just, they don't fetch that much money, so I'm not even bothering to sell it right now. Um, obviously, it's made just to uh, fasten onto a rifle, you know, specifically like an AR-15 or M16. But um, you know, it doesn't mean that you can't use it and it can't be useful. It's just when you ha when you see all these other things if it's really not worth it I would say that's my opinion once again uh, now here we have a K bar so this is a fighting knife um, this one is is more useful than the bayonet but come on it's a it's a fighting knife so, um, see how thick that is on here. Now, honestly, though, um, last time that I really used this was, gosh, was it, about eight years ago when I was in the village. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm uh, half Inupiat or Eskimo and half white. But um, when I was at the village, I was using this to slice muck tuck or whale blubber. Um, it did pretty well because I mean, you know, because it's it's so th thick, um, it, I could really slice through there because you know it had some meat to it without uh, you know possibly something like this where it might you know muck tuck's pretty thick stuff. I'd say about three three to four inches um, thick and you just cut that through the skin and the blubber um, you know you could still use this out in the uh, the bush um, it's the way this thing's constructed is more for stabbing and slashing uh, you can use it for utility things but it's not optimal in my opinion um, now we right here we have a 
or what do they call it? It's like a Lapland. Uh, anyway, this is from Halle. Uh, I can't even say that name, but anyway, it's from Norway. This is called the Lapland, and um, <clears throat> it's also called like a mini machete. Um, this one is stainless steel. Um, I did not purchase this myself. This was a gift from an associate at one of the stores that I was a manager at. And, uh, you know, I gave him one of these Mora knives and the classic type, but it was the mini one, so just a little one. Um, it really didn't cost me that much, but uh, this gentleman was was from Sweden and uh, grew up there, and so um, his dad had given one of those mini uh, more blades, and uh, you know he's a little bit older. I'd, I'd say you know sixty five, seventy years old, but anyway, he's like, oh, you know that's exactly like my dad gave me and I guess he used to use it for um, fishing and things like that that he was so thankful that he gave me this I did not ask for any anything but he just came up to me and gave this to me um, I really like this so you can see that I've been using this quite a bit um, you know, honestly, though, I use this more around the house than I do out in the bush. Um, simply because I have my um, hatchets and axes. And so if I just pair, you know, one of these more knives with uh, the hatchet or axe, I don't necessarily need something this big. And I don't want to carry too many things. Uh, it's also... You know, some of the areas where I'm at, I don't really want to carry this where it's visible on my um, belt. Um, and this thing, this is how it hangs on your, your belt. So, obviously, you're going to put it on your left side if you're right-handed. Right -hand, right and I will wear it sometimes, usually around the house, like I said. Um, but if I do take it, Depending on where I'm at, I might keep it inside of my pack. Uh, next one we have here is a, a kukri knife. Let's see, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. <clears throat> um, so this is probably not really anything new for anybody watching this stuff, but... Uh, I purchased this one just because it was fifty dollars. Um, this thing is a heavy duty, so I'm trying to remember the length of the blade. I think it was a ten inch or eleven inch blade on there. Um, I've used this quite a bit, and once again, mostly at home doing garden work or things like that. I have taken it out to the, uh, you know, hiking or, um, camping and, uh, hunting. However, it kind of goes in the same category for me with, with this one is that it's, um, I've got the smaller knives and the, the hatchet and this can pretty much can almost replace my hatchet just because of the total length of this, as well as the heft on there and its ability. So, um, see I've got some nicks and things on there. Um, but, uh, I mean, it, and it's just physically so heavy. I mean, it's got a full tang on here. This thing, you know, can do some damage to, to wood and things like that. Um, And I didn't pay too much for it. Uh, it does come with the the smaller. Um, it's got the smaller knife inside of there for detail work, and then of course, is this a 
Jack Mac. I don't remember what this is called. The other one is just the. This is just a honing um, blade, so you can sharpen with this. And it nestles inside of there. And they use a just a rawhide uh, sheath on this. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, you really feel this one when you put it on your belt. Uh, the last one, I haven't used it yet, although I do expect to use this once it's uh, COVID-19 and I'm able to really go outside and stay somewhere. I'm going to try it out. Um, I've done some, some chopping here at home. So if there's a lot of trees and so like the neighbors in the neighbor's yard there the boughs uh the boughs go into my property so then that's what I'm using this thing for is to chop those down. Holy smokes. Let's see if I get this thing out. Uh so you saw when I first got this thing, um, I started sharpening it. It's not completely done yet, but I have been using it. So even, even though I haven't finished sharpening this all the way, and I'm not going to, I'm just sharpening it more with the same, you know, similar to a, a hatchet or an axe with a convex uh, grind on there. You know, I don't need this thing to be razor sharp. I just need it to be sharp enough to chop i mean that's that's all that this thing is for is for chopping so um and it's and it's weighted very well here at the the end of the blade um what's nice about this and what makes it different than a machete is you know machetes tend to be just a flat slab of steel and uh there's really not too much besides the uh cutting blade um it might be somewhat difficult to see but you can see here how it's actually thicker above the blade here and so it doesn't seem to uh bind when you're chopping things so this is a fascine knife um and that's its main purpose. And then as a backup, you know, obviously you could use it as a, a weapon. Um, this is 24 inches total length from the handle to the tip. Um, this is another one though, where I would most likely hide this thing until I get to where I'm going at. Um, just for the fact that it's massive. Um, also, if I was going to take this, I doubt I would take my axe or hatchet with me because then it, you know, with the weight and its ability, um, I don't need to have both at this over there. But I guarantee you I will take this out in the near future when I'm allowed to go and overnight somewhere but I uh, just wanted to show you my little collection and how I use them and uh, how often I use them so this is obviously the one that I use or this style is the what I use the most um, at home I use both of these and most likely I'll probably use this more at home than I do out somewhere. But I haven't really tested its full capability yet. And I haven't finished sharpening it. If you have any questions or comments, post them on there and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you.